I, I've been writing for as long as I can remember. I started reading quite young, so I've sort of, I was always reading and I loved reading. Um, and writing just came very naturally. It was just something I enjoyed doing and I think I somehow needed to do it. Um, the motivation, I, I don't really understand it, I don't know. It's just, if you really love doing something and you kind of feel the need to do something, you just do it. I spent a long time wanting to be either a, a painter or a rock and roll star. All the time I was doing that, I was, I was also kind of still writing. And I suppose my, my ultimate dream was to sort of, to make it as a rock and roll star and then later on start writing novels. Um, but the rock and roll bit didn't, didn't work out. Um, and then I, I kind of just concentrated on, on writing really. But yeah, I, I mean, from a very, I mean, as far back as I can remember, that was my, my dream to sort of write novels. Um, it took me a long time to actually get around to it because I was always writing poetry or short stories or just small things. And the idea of writing a novel, which is a, a big thing, I always found quite intimidating. And it took me quite a long time to, to get to this sort of state of mind where I could, I could um, attempt it. But yeah, it was always something I, you know, it was a dream. I, I just, I, I have guitars and, and keyboards and things and I occasionally, I just pick them up and, and start playing, um, but um, just for my own enjoyment. Although it's very different to painting and writing, writing music, um, I kind of think of it as fundamentally the same thing. I'm, I'm doing the same thing, obviously in a very sort of different way. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really feel that I've kind of stopped doing the other things because in a way I'm still doing them only with words rather than images or, or sound. Um, I do, I mean, I, I would like to, to go back and do some more music um, because that's kind of, I really like doing that. But it's something which um, it takes up a lot of time, and I don't have the time to do it anymore. Um, but yeah, I, I just think of them as you know, music and, and writing and and, and um, painting as very similar things. I don't know if you've ever heard their music, but it's 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 very kind of simple, and um, it's just kind of pure kind of what I think kind of rock and roll music is, but it's very kind of, it could be very dark and sort of gloomy, but occasionally it could be really, really beautiful as well. Um, so yeah, they're, they're sort of, they're pretty special. I think I've always been an atheist. I don't mind what anybody believes. What I find, what I find increasingly sort of annoying, I suppose, is how, um, uh, when those other people's beliefs start having an effect on, say, my life, anybody else's life. And, um, and, and I think that's sort of becoming more and more. And, and I, um, I just find it something which, I, I find it um, kind of disappointing, I think, in that, um, because I find it completely incomprehensible why, why it's sort of this kind of idea of, of uh, a God, why, why do we need it? You know, we can, we don't, you know, we shouldn't, we shouldn't have to need those kind of, I mean, maybe, you know, 30,000 years ago, we, we sort of needed those kind of things, but we don't, you know, we don't need them anymore. And I, and I find it quite kind of annoying that sort of, it's um, almost offensive that sort of in the 21st century, we're still kind of um, having these really strange beliefs and stuff. I'm not a sort of militant anti-religious person. I just sort of, um, I just like, totally totally disbelieve in it and I find it quite strange how I mean people's whole lives and, and societies and countries are sort of completely run and structured with a belief in a deity which to me it just sort of you know I don't like it when I mean if there's a sort of news story going around or something on the radio and then, and they'll get the views of, of a of a priest or, or or whatever as if they have some sort of um wisdom that nobody else has and I find that quite patronising and sort of demeaning, I don't like it at all. Um, but, um, you know, I, I, basically I don't mind what anybody else believes as long as they, you know, it doesn't have an um, injurious effect on other people, which unfortunately it does in some cases. 
I mean, I, I like writing about kind of the big, big things, life and death, life and death stuff. And I think it might be for my next book after this one I've finished, just about something about the... the I mean, it's not the meaning of life, because there isn't any meaning of life, but it's about, it's about, um, I suppose, about consciousness. That's what I find really, really interesting. It's quite a hard thing to write about, but I've got an idea for kind of writing about something to do with consciousness and, and, and the whole universe. Quite, quite a big subject, but I think you can deal with big subjects by looking at tiny, small things. So, uh, yeah, I, consciousness and the universe would be something I'd, I'm going to have a go at it and see, see what happens.